So welcome to this tutorial on the Scrapbook Planner. This is my latest planner and this one will take you through your next 10 scrapbooking projects. So as you can see here, you have 10 tabs that you can go through and then you have tabs across the top. And let's do a quick run through of what you get inside this notebook. So um, as always in my notebooks, we have this quick notes page, which is where you can email me. So if you have any questions or any ideas, or you just want to share with me what you're doing, you can always email me right here. This is a quick link to my Etsy shop, also to one link to my website. And then this is a link to the how-to tutorials, which are also on the website, which shows you different things like how to um, cover up you know, different parts of the page. Maybe you don't want to see them, how to add your own fonts. So there's some great tutorials in there. So you can um, subscribe to that and get those tutorials. So that's always on the quick notes page. And if you use this home button, it will take you right to this page. This page was created just so you can jot down things, inspiration, ideas, you see something on sale, you just want to make a note. That's what you can use this page for. So before you, before trying to find the right tab, just a quick place to jot down something so you don't forget it. So that's what this page is for. Um, then just a welcome letter, quick welcome letter. And, and then as I do with most of my notebooks, they are formatted for the Hub Notebook system. And there's a tutorial right here that shows you what the Hub Notebook system is all about and you can try it for free and get a two subject notebook and basically what a hub notebook does is it allows you to combine entire notebooks inside of each other and still have all the hyperlinks work so it's just a cool little thing that I have that you can find here and you can also get one for free then just a quick introduction just talking a little bit about this and then here's this tutorial that I'm recording right now so these are all ones that you can just tab through if you're to hit the plan button, it'll take you to this introduction, show you the tutorial, and then take you to this plan. This plan gives you an idea. Again, it's a what we're going through in the tutorial is pretty much the same as what you'll see in this plan. So this is just a written version to help you understand how to use the planner pages. Then if you were to click the calendar tab, this will take you to this calendar. Right now it's set up for 2020, um, but I will be updating this as the years go by. And this is just important dates. So if you know you're going to create a, a scrapbook for somebody's graduation or for an anniversary, a, you know, a milestone anniversary, milestone birthday, um, this gives you a chance to kind of jot down some important dates. You can use the highlight tool, which is a handy little tool I like to use a lot. Use it on the smaller setting. You can highlight little spots like this, bigger setting, works like that. And if you want to highlight a week, I kind of like that, that if you pull in a straight line, it will give you a straight line. Very cool. So that's just some of the things you can do with that tool. And then we're going to the projects. So um, this is again, it's under the calendar tab. So here's the calendar. And then here is just another way of thinking about your calendar, not knowing which way you like to think. I wanted to give you two options. So this is if you just want to write down, you know, what, how you want to space out your projects for the year. So you've got some important dates, but you might be working on them well in advance of those dates. So you might be wanting to gather some photos for a project, or you might want to be getting supplies for a project. So you can kind of get an overview of your year based on some of the things you might want to do per month. So again, these are in the calendar tab. The next tab is your index tab. So if you were to click the index, you would take you to this page. So each of these projects are hyperlinked. So you can either click right on this on the index page, or you can click on one of these and it's going to take you to the project. So I gave you two ways of quickly getting to each project that you want to work on. Then if you were to click the notes page, this is obviously a blank note, so you can write down whatever you want. You'll probably want to insert these as you're going through into a project. So when we get into the projects pages, you'll see you may just want to be inserting some blank note pages to give yourself some ideas. And then if you have other stickers that you've gotten from other planners, you can kind of drop them in here so that they're a quick reference. So you don't have to go to a different tab to get your stickers. You can pick up some commonly used stickers right here. So that's what these are for and that's what those tabs go to. Now, if you were to click the tabs by number, they'll take you to the project. And as you can see, let me just switch quickly to the tool. As you can see, their numbers correspond here. So you know which project you're in, so you don't get confused. And as you scroll through, the project is numbers again listed in this top corner so that you know which project you're on. Since the pages do look the same, it could get confusing. So that's why I've got it up here. So you know which project you're working on on every page. So if you're in project two, these are all twos. If you're in project 10, these are all tens. So it gives you an idea. So project. Again, we have a quick notes page. So as you're starting to flesh out your ideas, you can put them here. You can talk about, you know, if it's somebody's anniversary, um, maybe you want to have a page for each decade or, you know, a page for different milestones in their life, first car, first kid, first house, whatever. You can kind of jot down some ideas and get an outline going here. Then the timeline. This, you know, we know scrapbooking takes a lot of time. 
So I want to get you to be thinking about how many weeks do you have for this project? Do you have three weeks? Do you have four weeks? Do you have eight weeks? You know, that's what you're going to put here is how many weeks you have. And then break it down to whatever makes logical sense for you for your steps. So it might be gathering photos, getting supplies, drafting or sketching some layouts, and then actually application and then delivery, something like that. So you can put your dates in here. So it's just in a way to give you a high level view of your projects and break it down in the steps that are make sense for your project. You may be doing like a, a living, um, a living scrapbook where you're doing one page each year. So that might be a much simpler timeline, but it's a bigger book and you might be doing your page each year. So again, it's up to you and how you do your projects. Layout planner. So I've given you up to 10 layouts. You can always duplicate this page. If you go here, you can always duplicate it. And this gives you an idea if you want to do a theme. So if you're doing a book, um, you know, say we'll go with that anniversary example. The first one could be how they met, um, or it could be before, before they met, how they met, first years of anniversary, first kids. So you can give yourself an idea of what the page is going to be about. You can give yourself some notes. Maybe it's going to be a black and white page. Maybe it's going to be um, a colorful baby boy page because they had a child. Maybe it's going to be a special sports car page. So you can give yourself some ideas here of what you want to do for each layout. And then you have layout ideas. This page is one you're going to want to duplicate a lot, but not knowing how many layouts you're going to be doing. I only put one in here, but again, you hit this button and you keep plussing for the number of layouts that you want. So you're going to want to put some ideas here, like, okay, layout on the pre-marriage, you know, the before they met years. What are the pictures you're going to want to use? What are some of the special papers you like? What are the uh, embellishments you're going to use? So these are just some of the things that you want to put there. And then layout sketches. So here you're going to put, um, here's just, you can do this um, maybe two different versions of the same layout. So maybe version A and version B, or you may just want to do one layout here and then another layout here. Again, you're going to duplicate the pages for as many times you need to do different layout sketches. The beauty of doing this digitally is you can erase. So you can have, you know, like different ideas of what you want to do and then go through and say, eh, I don't like that idea. I'm going to erase it and start over. So I really like being able to do this digitally because you can really get a lot of work in. And then you're on to project two. So again, duplicate these pages. Feel free to throw these notes pages in wherever you need to kind of expand on an idea. And this will keep you organized for 10 projects, which I think is really cool. It's a huge time saver because you can come back. One of the things you can do if you're up into the project area and say you know some of the projects you want to do, you can index them out. So project one, project two, project three, and you could be working on these for over the months. So you could come in here and start to do some things on project one, but simultaneously be working on project two where maybe project one you're gathering photos, but oh, you found some great photos for project two. So you could just go through, hop into project two, and then start you know, putting some ideas here too. So you can work on these simultaneously, they not lose a great idea when it comes to you. Or if you find some photos at one point and you really want to put them into project four, you can grab them now and kind of save them. And don't forget you have this wonderful camera tool here. So if you have something on your camera roll, I'm just going to pick this with a random photo. If you took a picture and you want to use it later on, you can save this right here in your quick notes or on any of your layout pages and save all the photos that you're gonna to wanna to use later. So it's a handy tool. That's why this digital planner is so great for scrapbooking. You could take a photo, but I would really recommend you know, taking your photo and put it on your camera roll. And if your iPhone is hooked up, you'll easily get all your photos and quickly you can drop them in here and then use them later on your sketches. You know, just drop your photo in. So if we're here in the layout uh, sketch and let's just drop in a photo. Um, again, let me just wrap this little guy in. You could start to drop it in, you know, say, okay, we're gonna do a little of this, we're gonna have this, and then if you have some pictures of your pages, you could take a quick picture of some of your paper and drop that right in here so you can really see how things are gonna lay out before you do the real thing. It's such a cool way of doing this. So I think people have missed out when it comes to digital planning and what they can actually do with their digital planner when it comes to scrapbooking. So I hope you're inspired and jump on in and start making some great creations.